right now we are with uh, two very very dignified uh, people of the cotton industry to such dignitaries for whom we can look up to to give a view opinion in a, in an exclusive discussion with uh, these two dignitaries i would just like to introduce them the first being uh, suresh bhai kotak the bhishma pitamaha of the cotton industry the man with loads and loads of experience knowledge is still so well read that he knows anything that is to know about cotton so we will uh, have uh, a discussion with him regarding his view the second is uh, shri prashant mohta the md of uh, gimantex a very renowned spinner and into good technological innovations in uh, the textile industry he is also a very learned person a person well aware of the happenings of today and anticipation of the days to come so suresh bhai starting with you sir the basic question would be how has this year been 2013 14 for the cotton industry as a whole well for the spinning industry there was a good spell okay a good spell has of course ended and some difficult situation we are passing through but by and large what we should consider is whatever the despondency you have shown difficulty you have shown the lack of confidence whatever you are thinking well it is a matter of fact that there has been a loss of confidence there is a despondency but what i feel how it will change you ask what are the options but i consider options yes but first what is happening right and what is happening to which will make some auto changes okay now you have all heard about the consumption yesterday that un- unless and we all agree that unless there is a demand pool in the indian cotton economy and as well as global cotton economy the market would start keep going down right now how the demand pool can come now demand pool can come on a on a broader spectrum cotton being competitive and the cotton can be competitive in one way or another to the spinning mills now the in the value chain process and value chain process thinking which has been adopted now the <coughs> initiative has been made by tax process very commendable that give highest amount of incentive to the final product okay then to the second layer then to the third layer and then to the fourth layer cotton being the starting point right. but the it has to start from the top so the government, government must have the maximum kind of support incentive and all that so that will all lead and that is all measures in the direction of a demand pool so making things competitive to the customers this is one thing so this is what is happening and let us take the stock of this situation two in solutions we have to learn to diversify the production go with the blends and there is enough space for the new products to come in third thing as i share my this view with uh, our great friend uh, prashant ji that we must look to the composite cotton economics of a cotton value chain mm-hmm. so the 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 forward the backward integration after seeds also must be considered for cotton economy and better realization right the fourth one which option the textile mills have to adopt is to buy cotton in a steadily 
not in a in a, in an absolute manner today you have stopped the cotton you have put the investment money no you have to you have to you have to expect with the market you have to play with the market by by two options hedging option is one but then there is another option also which is known as the straddle options now the straddle options are very important what are the straddle options now say for example even the mills have to be become smart on this the straddle operations have to be say now new york is very cheap indian cotton is very high price so in a, in a, in a relatively free economy that we have with the permission of rbi buy new york sell uh, uh, indian cotton and that is what the multinationals are doing multinationals only thrive on the straddles straddles and hedging no multinational worth its while and this is what is lacking in our cotton economy in total very few enlightened people understand the meaning of hedging and meaning of straddling in cotton which our forefathers who used to do the cotton they understood it very well and at right. that time we have a record that new york and india used to straddle and every day japan used to buy so all these things were happening so the happenings are happening but we have to exercise all this operation so we have to look to the whole situation in a comprehensive manner mm. also i believe that china may buy in october november so when the market has sufficiently gone down they will definitely average the buying and average at their options prashant ji now uh, being into the manufacturing industry how do you uh, evaluate this particular cotton season this overall last two years have been quite good because volatility was out of the market prices were quite stable right. and what the industry needs is as of now stability whatever crisis we are talking about is the result of volatility so volatility has come back and you can see that industry has stopped it has start has started talking about crisis right but any kind of crisis brings the best out of the uh, best people right. so i'm sure this is an opportunity for uh, established players to actually use many uh, good uh, techniques and try to become competitive in this market see the textile in india has become very organized uh, especially spinning spinning is very organized and because of that and uh, and because of the little bit of capitalistic nature that we are start, that we have started uh, working on today it has become very competitive and whenever you have such kind of competition these kind of crises keep ha- happening right. so in at this stage industries and the industry leaders need to adapt to the changing times what kota ji said was to basically be really flexible one should not remain uh, strict that i want to source my cotton only from a particular area right. they can have the, keep their eyes open and actually start sourcing it from various corners because there are alternatives available and uh, i'm sure there are things where uh, one can actually select the uh, cheapest option and uh, get uh, sail through this tough times as well right so that is uh, like uh, one option was to actually when indian cotton is costlier new york is cheaper one can source from new york or from west africa and east africa there are options to do right. so it's important for manufacturers actually to remain flexible also it's important to adapt the best technology and move it towards the value added segment because when you have so much of clutter in a basic se- segment it's important that we move out of it and try to uh, remain in a niche area where there is less uh, competition that is what is required in uh, these tough times and as i said because now cotton is going to be quite competitive because the co- le- price levels that we have seen recently uh, at that level cotton should be competitive so i'm sure that should be da- natural pull and uh, it will come out any time whenever the raw material goes uh, down there is always a crisis but uh, following uh, two years or so we, we can be little optimistic about the future because then Raw material cost being a major cost, I can uh, we can look forward to the cotton segment overall doing well. 